uh, I am nowhere claiming that it is really the number one because there are grades like Harvard, Stanford. But uh, uh, topping any of the charts definitely says that you are one of the greatest. Hello, everyone. For everybody who is new on my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Amit Sandarshi. I am an NUS Singapore MBA candidate, and I'm doing an exchange at Columbia Business School in the city of New York. In this video, we'll be talking about why CBS or Columbia Business School is the number one B school in the world. So let's get started. So to set the context, Financial Times Global MBA ranking has ranked CBS as the number one B school in the world. And I personally do not follow rankings a lot, but sometimes when they work in your favor, you tend to follow them more. Uh, and I'm, I would say I am guilty of that, but uh, uh, I am nowhere claiming that it is really the number one because there are grades like Harvard, Stanford, but uh, uh, topping any of the charts definitely says that you are one of the greatest. So. Uh, take this video like I'm talking about why CBS is one of the greatest B schools in the world. So the number one thing that stands out for CBS is the location. Uh, New York City is definitely the financial capital of the world. And uh, if you are based in New York, your connections, your chances of meeting people uh, who you want to do business with or who you want to work for, uh, increases drastically. For everybody who is in business or finance, uh, most of them uh, want to move to New York, uh, though some people don't like the city, but nobody can deny that the opportunities that this city provides is enormous. And that is why I think the CBS tagline is at the very center of business. And this is pretty true, actually. Uh, so to, to, to give you an example, uh, CBS is... Uh, the most represented B school in the Wall Street. And the second number is uh, not Harvard, not Stanford, but NYU. So you can understand uh, how much location plays a role uh, in the opportunities and success of a B school. The second point that works for CBS is uh, the legacy. So Columbia University was founded in 1754 and CBS was founded in 1916. And currently, there are more than 44,000 living alumni in the world. And CBS has given uh, great, great alumni to the world, such as uh, Warren Buffett, uh, Vikram Pandit. Uh, there is a guy, wait a second, let me check the name. There is a guy who is called the father of value investing, David Dodd. Uh, he's from CBS. And there's a whole list of uh, CEOs and top level management people from CBS. Uh, for example, in India also, uh, the, the, the CEO of uh, Blinkit, which is Grofers, uh, Albinda Dinsha, Dinsa, uh, he is also from CBS. So whenever you apply in a company, definitely you will find some CBS guy in the top level management. And this increases your chances of getting a referral or at least initiating a conversation. And uh, network is a big power, actually. So having a legacy of more than 250 years as a university and more than 100 years as a B school is a big, big advantage. And this works a lot for CBS. The third thing I would like to talk about is the coursework. So I have spent four weeks uh, in the CBS classrooms and I can definitely say that this coursework is very intense. Um, Along with that, there are so many electives, like over 100 plus electives you get for MBA, more than 100, maybe 150, uh, 100 plus definitely. And uh, you can also take courses from different schools in Colombia. So number of electives can uh, become 500 plus. And this is uh, a lot of, lot of variety you have to choose from. And uh, I have heard, like I have not done core modules here, but I've heard that the core modules are really intense. Even though when I'm doing electives, there is there are a lot of homework, a lot of assignments. Uh, the classroom is also very intense, very competitive. So overall, this pushes you to perform harder. So it's not like uh, you, you come to B-School, you chill, your party. You chill your party, but you also complete your assignments on time. And this is the beauty of it. 
so I'm totally amazed how, how, how people manage their work in life. And the quality of professors are also very good. Like, for example, I'm taking a module called Think Bigger. And Think Bigger is taught by uh, Professor Sheena Ayengar. And uh, uh, she is uh, mostly like regularly ranked as one of the best B-School professors in the world. She has videos on YouTube that has like millions of views uh, in total. And uh, um, like her Think Bigger methodology is recognized around the world. Her book, uh, Art of Choosing, has been uh, has been ranked as a top five uh, business, school, business uh, books in the world. Uh, and uh, so, so, so basically, uh, uh, basically, when you when you are in such classrooms where the professors are great, where the students are great, where the quality is great, actually, great outcomes uh, are become much more, I would say, probable. So the fourth thing that I would like to talk about is the focus on career development at CBS. So CBS is mostly a two-year program where you have six months to do a full-time internship. And uh, if, you, if you do join JTAM, it's like a one and a half year course. And uh, there's a lot, there are a lot of talks every, uh, every single week. Uh, and sometimes the, the talks are at a very big level as well. So for example, every year we have uh, India conference. So that is organized by India business conference that is organized by uh, South Asian business association. And this will be held in March this year. And uh, the the people who are coming there are uh, like Nikesh Aroda, who used to be the CEO of uh, SoftBank and currently leading the Palo Alto Networks. Uh, Nikhil Kamath, uh, who is the co-founder of uh, Zeroda, and uh, KV Subramaniam, who is the chief economic advisor of uh, India, and so many more. Uh, so and and the entry fees is just thirty dollars. So for, uh, you you can get access to such great people. Uh, around the world through talks and uh, apart from that there are more than 100 clubs and all the clubs keep on uh, organizing a lot of networking activities so every week you have at least uh, i would say at least 10 places where you can go visit talk to different people and uh, grow your network and (laughs) i will also like to share that when i before i came here or before i actually started mba i used to think that networking uh, i used to cringe out when i used to hear the word networking but uh, uh, actually now i have become more comfortable with this term Uh, networking is just to just to talk to people get to know them and don't expect a lot Uh, you're just increasing the number of people you know and you never know when somebody uh, can ask you for help or can help you in your career. And it's a great thing to have if you are especially, many people come to B-School just for networking purposes. Like the, the fees here is 180,000, I think. And if you're paying 180,000, very likely <laughs> you want to make the most out of it. And uh, like, like for example, when I have come here, uh, I talk to a lot of people and everybody takes interest in me as well because I am from I'm, I'm from Singapore, right? I work study in Singapore. So if somebody knows me, they they know my network in Singapore. And if I know people here, I know their network in US and around the world. So it's like a win-win proposition. So it's there are a lot of networking events, more than 100 clubs, and that increases your career career opportunity. Apart from that, there is a career management center as well, where you can get your career coach, you can talk to them, and they can help you in your resume, in your uh, how, how you target companies, in your planning. And apart from that, you have, uh, again, you have alumni connection. So whenever, uh, uh, like, since I get an alumni status here in CBS, like, uh, uh, in future, if I am applying for any company, uh, very likely I can find some guy from CBS in that in that company and it's it's very it becomes easier to s- strike a conversation so that's a big uh, big big asset I would say so the last thing that I would like to discuss about is the infrastructure so uh, CBS used to have its uh, its campus uh, here in the morning side uh, campus uh, there used to be so there is a hall called Uris Hall where uh, CPS used to hold their uh, classrooms, uh, and uh, this was since 1962. So more than uh, 60 years, 
uh, more than 60 years uh, uh, uris hall was the whole of columbia business school mm-hmm. but in 2010 uh henry henry cravis yeah henry cravis and then there is another guy called ah uh, i will butcher his name maybe ronald parelman ronald parelman uh, these people uh, pledged 100 million dollars each and then david gaffin he pledged 75 million dollars for construction of a new columbia business school building and uh, the buildings are called cravis hall and gaffin hall and the total cost of building the the, the two buildings uh, was 600 million dollars and this makes it the most expensive peace school building in the world this just in we can exclusively reveal that king charles will be attending columbia business school apparently the king's decision was driven by the fact that columbia has the most expensive mba campus ever built manhattanville is the only campus fit for a king So now CBS classrooms are much more shiny much more flashy I I put the two buildings pictures here uh, and apart from that it has cafeteria gymnasium lounges and basically everything is top notch there so one thing that used to be uh, more uh, not that great in CBS was uh, infrastructure because uh, it is like a old buildings but now now the infrastructure is also top notch so in all everything combined the career the alumni network the coursework the infrastructure the location all this thing uh, combined with a lot of hard work from the students and faculty make it the number one b school in the world arguably so that's pretty much from my side in this video if you like this video please share with your friends and uh, comment for engagement like the video and also if you want to if you want to watch more videos about columbia university uh, anus business school products management career development or just life uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, this is amit sam signing off